professor of cardiology, Alex University, and the president of CVRF Foundation of uh, uh, CVRF Foundation, and also the regional governor governor of ACC chapter Egypt and Middle East and Africa, and also the president of Cardio Alex. Hello, doctor. How Hello. Are you? Nice to see you today. Me too. Yeah. Uh, doctor, we would like to know what's new in CardioAlex this year. Actually, this is the 16 years of CardioAlex. As you know, that started 2002. We started 1,000 doctors now approaching 8,000. This is new for the number. The quality of the numbers. We now uh, we started with four with four doctors 2002. Now to have 100 uh, uh, foreign guests from Arab countries, Europe, America, and Far East. Mm. Regarding the uh, the number of sessions, we have three days and a half three days starting from uh, 11 to six and a half for uh, for a Tuesday and then from 8.30 to 6.30 for a fr Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, it includes uh, a lot of sessions. What's new this year that the uh, training sessions are more, uh, workshops are more. Uh, we have uh, dedicated uh, live, uh, live sessions from uh, ICC and the uh, and, uh, University of Alexandria, the CAT Labs. And we have also the live session uh, electrophysiology, which is coming also from the ICC and uh, the, uh, the Alexandria University CAT Lab. Uh, the, the, the competition between the young are so, so extensive this year. I mean that you have a cases for echo, for imaging, for, uh, for, uh, for nuclear, for, uh, and for angioplasty, whether advanced angioplasty or uh, uh, complex angioplasty. And this competition, the winners of this uh, would be uh, uh, either to travel abroad for uh, for uh, for more conferences or to share in the uh, next conferences. Also, we have a discussion with the with the guests, with the Arab, uh, how difficult cases, how to manage the interactions is more than before. Mm. We have plenty of lectures, but we have plenty of interactions. This is what's new. We're using the digital technology for information, so they know starting from the hub the information hub and coming to the, the questions online uh, when during the lectures uh, and also the, um, the using of uh, animations for the computer system for, uh, for, for the lectures. Not only a plain, a plain lecture like before, this is new. Uh, regarding the, um, we have also night symposiums. Uh, we have night symposium on Wednesday. We have three you know, night symposiums which is new for, for uh, it's not so new for this but we increase the number. It's be like the European and Americans, we know usually in the conferences. Is, this conference now is, is, is respected as an international conference, true international conference, agreed by, by EPAC, and uh, it's on the map of European and Americans. Uh, we, we don't have only intervention, but 60% intervention, 50-60, and 40% regarding the other subspecialty of cardiology. Uh, uh, what's new also, that you, uh, uh, that you indulge the, the other uh, uh, partners of the, the health uh, uh, stakeholders. I mean, this year we have uh, the Ministry of Health with us in sessions. We have the clinical pharmacologists. We have the technician nurses more involved in this. And we have uh, NGOs. We have uh, sessions regarding uh, the life coach, the artificial intelligence, the career guide, uh, the debate between pharmacologists and the, and the, and the cardiologists. This is new sessions it's not an ordinary conference on friday it's aside the conference we have patients because the disease started with the patient ends by the doctors so the patients we involve with the patient on wednesday we even in the walking we have the doctors and patient walking with alex runners in the morning and then we have a patient survey and we have have uh, we have identification of high risk and patient education Education regarding a risk profile, and then uh, education the patient on the management. So you go for the patients, you go for the nurses, for the technicians, for pharmacists, for the ministry, for NGOs, and then the doctors. Doctors either local or international. So the cardiac is not just a plain uh, uh, conference. I think it's a it's a, it's a success story for or for everything. You know, uh, as cardiac now is. Um, it's uh, the, the founding member of this, it is uh, the, the official uh, conference of the CVREP Foundation, which is Cardiac CVREP, where you know CVREP is Cardiovascular Research uh, Patient uh, Foundations, mean including the research and patient educations, and the cardiology department, Alexandria, is the founders. 
me and my, my, my partners in the, in the cardiology department, together with all cardiology uh, doctors at different universities, for um, military hospitals, in the Ministry of Health, for the insurance hospitals, all parts, even the private hospital. Yes, for sure. Uh, we would like to know the role of metrosacinate in the treatment of hypertension. Yes, this is uh, this is an. Uh, I did a talk uh, for uh, metoprosaccinate. Metoprosaccinate is a unique complex. Uh, uh, this is a molecule, new molecule of beta blockers. Uh, uh, it's uh, the molecules of this making sustainability of this molecule for 24 hours. Uh, it uh, it is very useful at, uh, in coronary artery disease, in arrhythmias, in in heart failure. It's only beta blocker which has mortality reduction by 32 to 38 percent in in. in uh, in improvement in, 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 in survival. Uh, the, th the first part that it is used in chronic stable angina. So it's, it's a very useful drug nowadays, uh, can be used in up titration from 25 milligram up to 200 milligrams with the treatment of arrhythmias, of hypertension, of hypertension mm -hmm. in heart failure in chronic stable. In regarding the hypertension, it's used in all types of heart attention with increased sympathetic overactivity together with those with compelling indication such as coronary artery disease and heart failure patient. Okay, and the arthritis is stiffness and its relation with hypertension management. You know hypertension is a silent killer. So hypertension has different brands nowadays and different guidelines mm -hmm. uh, starting with blood pressure variability, uh, uh, the normal blood pressure differs uh, the blood pressure uh, dipping and dipping, ambulatory and ambulatory, uh, and then uh, uh, going central aortic pressure. But nowadays they're speaking about a stiffness. Stiffness means that the wall, the tube, the stiffening of the tube, because mm -hmm. the blood pressure coming from increasing resistance of these tubes, the mm -hmm. peripheral vessels. So we found that that um, any normal person have arterial stiffness starting from the age, young age, up to the 70, 80 years. Mm -hmm. And this measured by called pulse wave velocity. The, if the pulse wave velocity is increased, this means the stiffness. The starting of, uh, uh, of early vascular changes starting at the age of 55. Before 55, it's called the early vascular change. Then at more 55, 59, started advanced aggressive uh, uh, atherosclerosis. So at that point, the arterial stiffness is increased. Mm -hmm. So. You need a drug before 55, you have hypertension, or after 55, you have hypertension. The beta blocker, which is important for sympathetic overactivity, does not affect this. The RAS blocker does not affect this. So what's the drug affecting at the marked line of stiffness? Is a calcium blocker and diuretics. If you combine calcium blocker and diuretic after the age of 55, with, with hypertension, it's more effective but not beta blocker as well. So as a nice guidelines in, in, in English, people said that before 55, that's why the, they measure 55. Mm. Before 55, using RAS blockade, uh, sympathetic overactivity by beta blockers, until, unless they're comparing indications, and after age of 55, calcium blocker and diuretic because it decreases the volumes and they're using vasodilatation, so it makes relaxation of this stiffness. They found that if you have uh, a norm of uh, um, uh, normal blood pressure or starting to have a high bl uh, blood pressure and severe blood pressure uh, if at age of 55 you measure the pulse wave velocity 2 millimeter you reach grade 4 hypertension with age 55 you can with with the uh, increased age you can higher uh, pulse wave velocity it's about 10 so difference between 2 and 10 is the difference in the age and the grade of hypertension so that's why they claim you have a stiffness if you have a normal, mm -hmm. but you have age 55 and you still have hypertension. Not all the drugs is effective for you at the age of 55. Mm -hmm. This is the idea of arterial stiffness. How to measure it clinically? Clinically, the age. Unless you have a, a compelling indication or you have a high risk features of family history of hypertension, you have diabetes, so atherosclerosis, you can, you can change it. But if you don't have any uh, high risk category and still only the age, uh, only hypertension, what drug is of choice is calcium blocker and diuretics. Okay, um, what's new in the heart failure drugs? Is there any new? Uh, yes, uh, actually there's uh, two important drugs. One regarding the, the heart rate, it's called evabradine. Evabradine, the shift trials in heart failure. Uh, there's no atrial fibrillation. Ejection fraction is le not less than 35%. Uh, 
uh, and you have class three, uh, Niha class three to four, up to two, two three to four, then knew that you can start this drug uh, before the attempt of blood pressure because in heart failure treatment you use diuretics for symptoms, uh, ACE or ARBs, uh, and you can use spironolactone uh, and, and beta blocker. Mm -hmm. But if the patient cannot tolerate beta blocker or the patient cannot reach the heart rate less than 60, you can use this evabradine or you can use it from the start. This is new for the heart failure treatment. What's new after it's called, uh, uh, ad, you know, heart failure patient is a fragile. Mm -hmm. I mean fragile because there's increased mortality, increased re recurrent hospitalizations, uh, in diminished quality of life. Mm -hmm. So you need a drug which improves all of this. They found a drug called Entresto or Sacrobatil, Sacrobatil Valsartan. This combination, but in one molecule, it's not two drugs. Mm -hmm. It is a unique complex uh, uh, molecule given to the patient with a small dose up titrated. It, it found but paradigm heart failure that improve quality of life, that you can walk, this, how you can improve your quality of life by six minutes, six minute walking if improving, uh, I mean in heart failure patient, if you move six minutes without symptoms, it's improved. It's called six minute walking. So if you don't have six improved quality, six minute walking, you still have diminished quality of life. And quality of life differs from one person to the other, could be female or other than male, obese, or lean, farmers, sportsmen or not. So quality of life either measured by scoring or by just six minutes walking. Mm -hmm. So this drug improves quality of life, improvement of the function, decrease recurrent hospitalization and decrease sudden cardiac death. Mm -hmm. So this is a Nobel drug, a Nobel drug. Uh, and uh, actually, there's no side effect except you cannot give it in patients with hypotension, in patients with hyperkalemia, and you have to follow these patients. This is very new, and both drugs are in Egypt now, and we give it to, the, to, all, to all our patients. Thanks a lot, doctor. Thank, Thank you. you to have you today. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.